Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my hope and prayer that uh, this video is going to find you guys in uh, good health. I am right in the village, but I have some urgent warning to Raila Amolodinga, which I wanted us to share this evening. Why Raila Odinga must avoid the traps of the bipartisan talks with William Ruto's team. For those who have been following the politics of the Republic of Kenya, Raila Amolo Odinga and William Ruto reached some agreement to discuss the issues which Raila Odinga was putting forth. And recently, the bipartisan team started the engagement. And uh, a few days ago, I just want to, to refer to my phone, I managed to get the demands, the list of issues which, by, which the Azimio team presented. There are five issues. Number one, they are talking of cost of living. Number two, audit of the 2022 presidential election results. Number three, they are talking of restructuring and reconstitution of the IBC and related matters. Number four, they are talking of measures to prevent interference with political parties. And number five, they are talking of outstanding const constitutional matters, e.g. governance issues, effective checks and balances, and the equations of boundaries delimitations. On the other si side, the Kenya Kwanzaa also laid bare their demands. They are talking of, number one, reconstitution of IBC commissioners on selection panel, which I think William Ruto had agreed to. They are also talking of, number two, the two-third gender rule, the entrenchment of the CDF, GAF, and Senate Oversight Funds in the Constitution. And they are also talking of the creation of the office of the the creation of the office of the leader of the official opposition they are also talking of resolving insecurity problems increasing including banditry and urban gangs gangs and proposing measures to deal with impunity on the part of those who should bear responsibility so basically i think they are talking of uh, the mandabanos number four they are talking of legal framework to give to give effect to article 32 of the COK, regulate conduct and uh, assign responsibility to various parties, including organizers of demonstrations. And number six, they are talking of electoral reforms to ensure closure of electoral outcome for post-election peace and stability. So if you listened to the, the issues which Kenya Kwanzaa are uh, raising, for me, I tend to think that Kenya Kwanzaa are not keen on these talks. So personally, if you ask me, I think Raila Odinga should not waste his time in these talks. I don't know why he's wasting his time. I'm saying this because of the following reasons. And by the way, before we do that, in case you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Now, let us get straight to the issues. Why do you think Raila Odinga should not waste his time with these talks? Number one, from my own estimation and observations, I tend to think that William Ruto is not ready for these talks because he's already sworn in as the president of the Republic of Kenya. William Ruto has been uh, facing some legitimacy issues. And if you've been listening to Raila Odinga speaking on the issues of the bipartisan talks, he's already acknowledging that William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya. And that is what William Ruto wants. So William Ruto is putting a lot of, uh, of roadblocks and Raila Odinga is falling for them. He's falling for them and in the process, he's actually acknowledging that William Ruto is indeed the president of the Republic of Kenya. So that is something which is coming out. So if I were Raila Odinga, I would not engage in the talks. William Ruto is already sworn in. So the focus for Raila Odinga should now then be shifted to the 2027 presidential election. If he's going to run, he should start preparing. If he's not going to run, he should identify someone. And in my list of preference, I would prefer Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Number two, based on what William Ruto is scheming, clearly William Ruto is simply managing the demonstrations. You know, Raila Odinga called for the demonstrations. And those demonstrations picked up like bushfire. If you followed Raila Odinga's demonstrations, the way they began and the, how they were going on, clearly Kenyans embraced those demonstrations. And Kenyans were willing to go to the end with the demonstrations. Then the bipartisan talks came. 
of course it was under a lot of pressure from both international community and the church and William Ruto also wanted a situation where he would be in a position to rule without the demonstrations. And Raleigh Odinga called them off. Then William Ruto is now managing him. Which means the momentum which the demonstrations had actually picked are already going down. To an extent, I've been talking to people, if you talk to several individuals, they will tell you, especially those who are participating in the demos, they will tell you that they are no longer keen on those demonstrations. And for me, that is the biggest worry. And that's one thing which Raila Odinga ought to really have uh, thought about carefully. Because without thinking about it, the momentum is now slow. The moment we will call for the demonstrations again, very few people will be willing to attend. Again, very few people will continue will, willing to attend. And of course, Kenyans are now like, why should we continue going to the demonstrations? Then Raila Odinga goes to these talks. He's frustrated. He comes back. To us. Number three, if you ask me, I also tend to think that Roto is actually keen on setting Raila Morodinga up against the international community. You see, there are a lot of intrigues and behind the scenes things which are happening. But for William Ruto, he's keen on pleasing the international community. He tells them that for me, I've appointed my team. They are working there. It's Raila Odinga who is placing some unrealistic demands. So, Raila Odinga must be very, very careful because William Ruto is a puppet of the West. They placed him there. But the West realized that for them to manage William Ruto, they needed to have a strong opposition. That is the only thing Raila Odinga is confusing with the interest of the international community that they are interested, for example, in free and fair election. No international community is interested in free and fair election. Raila Odinga is also assuming that they are interested in electoral reforms that they want IBC to be reconstituted. They are not interested in that. The international community are only interested in their interest. And those, their interests can only be served as long as there is someone who can listen to them, who can pursue their agenda, and that's why they placed Ruto. So the only thing now they are doing is that they want Ruto to rule the country, but with the checks. So Raila Odinga must be keen that Ruto is now trying to set him against the international community. Make him appear as if he's not the one who is interested in the talks. Number three, number four, sorry, and this is very important. If Raila Odinga is not careful, he's going to still fall for the same, same mistakes which he fell in during the handshake. Raila Odinga carried Jubilee Baden. He's going to carry Kenya Kwanzaa. But then, Kenya Kwanzaa is going to fail big time. In fact, if you want me to explain, I can do that tomorrow. Kenya Kwanzaa, as a government, is going to fail big time. They made promises they can't meet. The state of the economy is doing poorly. They have not given jobs. You know, they keep on taxing people. Right now, they are forcing people to pay 3% of their hard under cash for housing, which they don't really need. But Raila Odinga is agreeing to talk with them. For example, they're going to agree that, okay, as a bipartisan team, the cost of living is high, but for us to get out of this, they are going to agree as a team that we need to have taxes raised. Raila Odinga is going to support. And when they'll come out, William Ruto will say that, you see, even Raila Odinga is supporting. If I were Raila Odinga, I would focus on issues and matters which are dear to the hearts of Kenyans. I'll focus on ensuring that William Ruto does not have peace, just the same way William Ruto ensured Uru Kenyatta never had peace. Agreeing to these talks, especially on the issue of cost of living, on the issue of tax, what will happen if tomorrow Raila Odinga and the team agree with Ruto that we are going to reduce the cost of Onga to 35, I mean to 85 shillings, and then we are going to have subsidies. The government will issue those subsidies what will happen if those subsidies will end up in people's pockets? Who will take responsibility? Who will take the, the, the blame? Because they'll tell Raila Odinga, William Ruto is good at propaganda, will tell Raila Odinga and his team that, but you are part and parcel of this team. So for me, that's something which Raila Odinga must, must be very careful with. And lastly, and this I think is the main aim of William Ruto, marking time. William Ruto is just using these bipartisan talks to mark time. He's doing this while at the background William Ruto is ensuring that all government positions are filled, tenders are ongoing, budget is already done, 
you know, I won't be surprised if the bipartisan team will agree to negotiate with the government to pass the bipartisan team. Who is that? To pass the bipartisan team. Eh? I mean, we'll agree with the bipartisan team to pass the finance bill, which is going to burden Kenyans more. So for me, unless Raila Odinga is up to something because I'm not actually qualified to advise him, I'm not. I can't advise Raila Odinga. He's more... Raila Odinga is more, Raila Odinga is more experienced than uh, almost all of us. So I, I'm not really qualified to advise him, but I tend to think that these bipartisan talks is a waste of time, a waste of resources. Raila Odinga should use people like Ledamo Lekina, people like Babu Wina to pile more pressure on William Samoe Arapruto. I don't know what you think. That's my take. And thank you guys. I've just done this video on uh, using the lights from uh, that car because our flood light here at home this one here keeps on fluctuating, you know. You see, I don't know why power is really fluctuating. So it keeps on fluctuating. Since Ruto took over, the electricity keeps on fluctuating. You see, like now, yeah. So thank you guys for your time and may you have a good day.